Welcome back to another edition of the First and Short Podcast with JJ and the Goose. I'm JJ. A lot on the TV guide tonight in the sports world. You've got Game 2 of the World Series with the Giants up one nothing. You've got ACC football on ESPN with Clemson at Wake Forest. And you've also got an NFL game between somebody. Not that it's a very important matchup. So, Goose, what are you interested in tonight? Well, for those interested, it's the Vikings playing the Buccaneers. Thanks for doing your Ooh, research. Now I'm really going to watch. Uh, well, for me personally, I've got a dog in the fight. I currently go to Wake Forest, so I've got a free student ticket. So I will be at the Clemson Wake Forest game not watching TV. But if I was at home and all things being equal, I'd probably still be watching the football game. Uh, not too interested in a Tigers-Giants World Series game. Sorry. Baseball is pretty damn boring, especially when your team's not in it. Um, and, you know, Vikings, Buccaneers, yeah, yeah, I, I could put $10 on the game and I'd be pretty interested, but, uh, other than that, I don't have a dog in the fight, and ACC football seems pretty good to me. Yeah, those aren't words that are spoken very often when compared to other sporting events. Yeah, I'd certainly choose the live sporting event over watching on TV. Hope you have fun tonight. little quick fact. Wake Forest is 2-0 and in ESPN Thursday night games in the history of their program. Hmm. That may just be home games, but I'm not sure. Clemson is 1-9 all-time on Thursday night, uh, pro, uh, Thursday night ESPN programs. So, just a little thing to let you know. Clemson will be the heavy favorite, but Wake Forest always plays well. Mike Campanero should be ready to go for the Demon Deacons. We hope. So, uh... Yeah, we hope. That'll make this game a lot more interesting. So, Goose, have you regretted yet not watching last night's World Series Game 1? Oh, yeah. Somebody hit three home runs in a baseball game. Don't care. And it wasn't even an exciting game for the, from the fact that it was a five-run five run lead. I mean, how awesome could the game have been? Not for me. Look. The Nationals got knocked out in disgraceful fashion, and ever since then, I can't bear to watch playoff baseball right now. I'm just not in a place where I can emotionally take it. I know the Nationals should be there, and they're not, and uh, it's kind of ruined baseball for me. Well, as a Rangers fan, I can agree with that sentiment, but the guy did something last night that only three other people have done. Of course, it was done last year by Albert Pujols, and that's it, three home runs in a World Series game. But I think the most impressive part is that the first two were all Verlander, who I think we could agree on is the most dominant pitcher in baseball today. Yeah, yeah, that's a a fair case, although his numbers this year versus last year not quite as dominant. I don't think it's, well, there's nobody as good as Verlander. I think he's been playing the best in the postseason this year. Um, you know, CC had a really bad start, but he was doing quite well until his last start against the Tigers. You could have put him in that category. And, you know, the big question mark, Strasburg didn't play. So, I'm going to stand behind that. Yeah, and another thing that, uh, going with the pitchers here, another thing we saw last night that not many people have mentioned, we had three Cy Young winners in that game last night. We had really? the starters, we had Zito against Verlander, Mm -hmm. and then in relief, we had Lincecum, who came in, and he looked pretty nasty coming in on a relief. I still don't get why they don't give him a spot back, but that's okay. That that Zito thing is the most amazing part of this to me, is that this guy was Cy Young winner, goes to the Giants, sucks, terrible, worst contract in baseball, and the guys actually had a really good postseason. Uh, Excellent postseason. Yeah, I mean, when their back was against the wall in that uh, Cardinals series, they, they went to Zito. And uh, he came through for him, and he came through for him last night. Uh, with Lipscomb in the bullpen, I mean, the, the guy had an awful season. He's giving you something out of the bullpen. Maybe they think he's capable of giving an inning or two, but not six or seven, you know. Well, the, well, you got to remember they're playing an American League team that probably hasn't seen him yet. Yeah, and, if he's only, and if he's only in one, for one or two innings, no one's going to see him twice. Yeah, that, can, that can be a pretty nasty relief right there. Yeah. So... So moving on to tonight, we've got uh, Scherzer for the Tigers, and we got Madison Bumgarner from South Caldwell High School in North Carolina going tonight for the Giants. 
Bumgarner was one of the youngest World Series, well, youngest pitchers ever to win a World Series game as a starter uh, two years ago for the Giants. So it'll be interesting to see how he does again tonight. He's struggled a little bit as of late, but he's been doing just fine. So you're not going to watch the game because you will be at the Clemson Wake Forest game. Give me a little prediction tonight. Ah, uh, Clemson big. Uh, I like Wake Forest. They're a nice team, but their offense just isn't there. Like you say, Caponero could be back from his hand injury, and we'll see how effective he is in his return. This team, the offensive line isn't up to scruff. They can't protect. They can't get a run game going. The defense has been inconsistent. And although I think Clemson is overrated at 18, I certainly think their league's ahead of Wake Forest right now. I think Jim Grove's an excellent coach. He just doesn't have the talent this year. Got to go with Clemson. Well, that's an excellent analysis, but I was talking about the baseball game, dumbass. I just gave you the two pitchers. Oh, well, I mean, it's baseball. I, I, I don't know. I don't care. You know what? It's baseball. It's random. Flip a coin. That team will win. Heads or tails. I'm going with the Tigers tonight. Ugly. By the way, this World Series has some of the fattest players in baseball. That's between, not possible. CeCe's between, not playing. CeCe's not playing, but you've got Pablo Sandoval, big boned. You've got uh, Cabrera, who's pretty big. And you've got, uh, what's his name? Fielder. Fielder's got to be the most unathletic guy in baseball. I don't know, man. At least he has to run the bases. She, she stands up in, in a straight position all day and tosses pitches. There's a reason he went to the AL. Yeah. Have you he seen, didn't even want it. He didn't even want a bunt. Have you seen Andy Pettit since he got injured? Probably not, because she, she ate him. <laughs> I think that's as good a spot as any to end this edition of the First and Short podcast. If you see Andy Pettit... Let us know, because we want to make sure he did not get eaten by C.C. Sabathia. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.